What's up guys, I'm Alan with Edge Autosport and today I'm going to be putting a Cobb access port on a Honda Civic Type R FK8. Unlike JP who has the shop FK8 at his house in Washington, I do not have an FK8, which is a problem because I need to tune one with this access port that I just showed you. So I gotta go find one. Well, that did not take as long as I thought it would. I now have an FK8 in my garage and something to install this Cobb access port on. However, this car does have about 42,000 miles on it. So we wanna do a little bit of maintenance first. It already has a fresh oil change, so that's good. But we need to do some spark plugs just to make sure everything is good to go. So I'm gonna throw in these NGK laser iridiums and then we're going to get out there and start doing some data logging and some tuning. Okay, we are now ready to install the access port. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. Uh, I'm sure JP will have a better unboxing than this, but basically you get your little card, you get your access port case with the access port inside, little keychain, and then you got some wires and a little mount in here. This is the little jailbreak device. Uh, this being a 2019, we don't have to worry about this. Just put that back here. And then we have our OBD2 port. And here we have, this is how you're gonna connect it to your computer. Uh, this is the USB cable so that you can download logs to your computer and then attach them in response to an email if you're getting an e-tune from me. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this protective cover off and we will plug it in and follow the instructions on the screen. Okay, we made it to the end. Installation successful. We're gonna turn this off and it wants you to wait 15 seconds. I like to wait 15 seconds, um, even on Honda or any of the others, just to let give you the ECU plenty of time to turn off and then uh, we will turn it back on and then hit okay. Should be about right. So in about access port, you're gonna have your firmware, your installed vehicle, your uh, serial number sticker. And these are the things that I need for tuning. I need to know the year model and I need to know the serial number. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you here how to do the log. It's super simple. I'm gonna start the car. Uh, you do want to make sure you that the AFR is reading before you go out and start doing logs. Uh, that's important. Um, but to do a log, you're just going to hit this center button here. And then you're going to wait. And it's going to say logging at the top here. And once it says logging, uh, then you can do the log that I request. And for these cars, it may be like some driving time uh, to get some data for the short-term and long-term trims. As you can see, they're not actually populated right now, which means it's it's not, the O2 learning is not happening. Um, so we would definitely want to wait uh, to do anything until those start to, to populate. Um, but once those start to populate, you're good to go. Also, if you're doing a wide open throttle pull, then you would you'd want to wait till it says logging and then you can do your pull. And then once you've done the pull, you let off, make sure everything's good, and then you hit the button to turn it off. And that saves the log. And when you go to Access Port Manager, that'll be log number, uh, whatever the highest number is the most recent log. So if you've got 10 logs on there, data log 10 is the last one that you took. So, all right, we are going to let this thing start warming back up and then we're gonna go out and get some logs on this stage 193 octane map and then we're gonna do some tuning. to ask you for a third gear log or a fourth gear log this is how you're going to do it essentially uh, you're probably not going to have to worry about your draggy in the cup holder but we're going to be going along and you're going to just start the log and then you wait till it says log 
logging and you start your pull. Make sure that you're good to go and stop the log. I've done some work to get this to, to get a little bit, some changes to the OTS map uh, or to the mapping to see if we can't get a little bit more power out of it. Um, just gonna be a first revision, little baby steps basically. Um, but uh, in order to get the map on your access port, uh, use an AP manager, you're going to have to go find the file path. You're not looking for the map, you're looking for the file path. So you click on this little um, hourglass icon and then you go to wherever, when you downloaded the, the, uh, the map that I send you, uh, you're gonna save it to your computer and you're gonna go to the file that you saved it in and you're gonna select that folder. And then inside that folder will be the map that um, that I sent you. And you're gonna hit this little up arrow button and say yes. And then it's gonna show up on your access port and then you can eject the access port and go on. And also when I ask you for your AP info, uh, it's part of the welcome email that you'll get when you get an eTune. That's this button right here next to the eject button. And it shows you 2019 Civic Type R, gives you your serial number, and you can just copy that and then paste it in response to the email. And that's gonna give me all the info I need to know to uh, create a base map, aside from you know your mod list and all that. But All right guys, time to wrap up this video. I am sorry that I didn't quite finish filming, I guess you could say. I, I was, we were, we were getting some shots, but it got to a point where I was more focusing on the tuning aspect of this and less on the filming because like when I'm tuning, like that's where my priority is. That's where my focus is. And so that's why um, I didn't film quite as much as I wanted to on this video, but I think we we're able to get the gist of what we were wanting to do out of this. And that was show the improvements of a Cobb access port and some custom tuning. And to do that, we used the Draggy like a dyno measuring third gear pulls on the street. Uh, we were doing uh, 40 to 75 mile an hour. It was a custom uh, mode that we were able to set up with the Draggy. And we started with the stock tune, like not even flashed it and used a stage zero map, just like access port uninstalled. Uh, but we started with a 396 stock, flashed the cob off the shelf map, 93 octane, and stage one, and it did a 359. We did a custom tune uh, where I went in and made some tweaks myself, and we dropped that down to a 322. And then with a little bit more tweaking, we were able to get it down to a 3.13. So it's a pretty decent amount shaved off of uh, that stock tune. I know tents may not sound like a lot to you guys, but tents mean a lot when we're talking about a single gear pull. And also keep in mind, uh, there are two people in this car so it, it it definitely was weighted down and would have gone much faster without the extra weight but we we're more looking for the before and after and so it told us exactly what we needed to tell there's still more in it uh, we're leaving it a little bit conservative right now i'm pretty sure uh we could get a little bit more out of it but we're going to he's going to go home and and drive the car and see make sure everything's good and then uh, we can continue this process through email uh, which is what I figure most of you guys are going to be coming to me for anyways, is e-tunes. And so that's why I wanted to kind of showcase what it looks like getting an e-tune from us. Uh, even with me in the car, it kind of shows you the process of an e-tune. I hope you guys like this video. And if you have any questions about getting an access port for your FK Type R, be sure and shoot us an email to tuning at edgeautosport.com. And we'll be happy to answer any questions you have, talk to you about your goals, uh, as well as what other mods you might want to do. If you want to see more FK8 content, be sure and subscribe to the channel. We're going to be coming out with a lot more as we continue to modify the shop FK8. And as we continue to modify and tune other FK8s uh, in my local area and in JP's local area and in Denver as well. Anyways, that is all for this video. We'll catch you next time.